this video gonna be a very very important video especially if you are a student just finish SPM kalau kamu adalah pelajar yang baru habis SPM video ini adalah video yang sangat 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 penting sebab apa yang kamu buat lepas SPM akan menentukan the rest of your life let me tell you it's gonna determine the rest of your life so it is very very important see I'm not gonna talk about college mana yang nak masuk kursus apa yang kamu kena ambil apa yang kamu kena buat bidang mana see I'm not gonna talk about all that I'm gonna talk about you I'm gonna talk about you my students I'm gonna talk about you what you need to do let's find out Percent student, your lifestyle after your SPM, this is what gonna happen. Dia cikgu bagi tahu, almost dia akan jadi sama. 80 to 90 percent student kehidupan kamu selepas SPM, right after SPM, it's gonna be like this. See, apa yang kamu harapkan dan apa yang kamu akan jumpa, it's not gonna be the same. But not gonna be the same. Let me tell you something. Kamu akan fikirkan tentang masa selepas SPM. Kamu akan rasa, wow, selepas SPM ni, oh, I'm gonna be super duper happy, excited, yay, right? But then, uh, when the last exam, peperiksaan kertas terakhir kamu dah habis dah, you don't feel exactly the same like how you thought it would be. Am I right? Kamu rasa it's going to be super duper excited, but once the final exam finish, you tak rasa pun actually not not even close to what you thought it would be, right? So it's going to be like that. That is life. I want you to understand this. This is a life and this is a real life that you're going to go through after this. So, 80 to 90% student, apa yang akan berlaku, you're going to be like, lepas SPM, there are going to be two category of student, alright? Number one, pelajar yang pergi untuk kerja. Number two, pelajar yang tak pergi untuk kerja. So, what is the difference? There's no much difference. Simple things, alright? Pelajar yang pergi untuk kerja, apa yang you akan buat, every day you got a routine, okay? You got a motivation, you got a routine, you know what you're going to do. So, you akan bangun, you akan pergi ke kerja, you akan jumpa orang-orang yang baru, and then probably you're going to make some money. See, and before you make some money, you're going to get some scoldings, you akan kena marah, you ada hari yang nangis, you ada hari yang, you know, you don't want to go to work, but you still have to go to work. All these kind of things, you're going to meet a lot of people outside your school. So, you're going to see different kind of people and you're going to be like, oh, ada orang macam ni juga eh. Ah, right. Things are going to be different, a little different. So, you akan dapat beberapa experience dekat luar sana and probably you're going to make some money. So, three months, for example, let's say, ah, uh, 1,200, you dapat gaji untuk satu bulan, tiga bulan on the road, you're going to get about 3,600. Okay? And dengan duit itu pun, you sudah ada plan. So, what usually people do with that money? Students, saya tahu you orang punya perangai. I know what you're going to do. So, it's like, that money, some students, this is what you're going to do. There's two things important you akan pergi untuk dapatkan. Number one, Lesen, lesen kereta ataupun lesen motor. That's what you're going to go for, right? So that was your dream. Like, okay, I need to get a driving license. I want to drive the car. So you akan pergi dapatkan dengan duit yang kamu dapat tu. You'll go and get your driving license. Number two, probably you're going to get one nice handphone, all right? So maybe some handphone yang you rasa macam, wow, this phone is cool. You're going to use that money and you're going to buy that, okay? And then this is what going to happen to the students who go to work. You akan dapat duit tu and you're going to do it and probably you're going to learn some good experience dekat tempat kerja, right? Good and also bad experience, okay? Pelajar yang tak pergi untuk kerja, there's a lot of things can happen. You guys going to be at home, maybe you help the uh, household, you tolong dekat rumah, tolong ma, you know, tolong ayah, something like that and you're going to watch probably a lot of movies, YouTube videos, social media. So all these things going to happen to you and then dua-dua pelajar ni yang pergi untuk kerja dan tak pergi untuk kerja, you're going to meet in one one same point which is SPM result okay so kamu akan pergi ambil you punya SPM result and once you get the SPM result and apa yang kamu akan buat saya tahu kamu tengok you punya result there's two that, that time itself you dah confused dah you dah confused okay result yang kamu dapat apa yang kamu harapkan kan cikgu dah bagi tahu apa yang kamu harap it's not gonna be like what's gonna happen almost same can be same for some people like ini yang kau nak dapat that's what you get that is very good but most of the people like you rasa dapat lain tiba-tiba dapat lain okay so bila you dah dapat result yang lain apa yang kamu akan buat then next next step so once you dah dapat result everything is over SPM is over result sudah dapat what you gonna do next next you gonna look for cruises yang kamu boleh apply based on your Results. See, based on your results, you sudah dapat keputusan peperiksaan. Based on the results, you akan cari apalah bidang yang awak boleh apply. You're going to look for, you know, courses, university, college, matriculation. Apa-apa saja you're going to look for and you're going to apply. So, when you apply, the reply yang you akan dapat, you akan dapat lebih kurang dalam uh, 3 minggu, mungkin 4 minggu, reply you akan dapat. 
Most of the time you dapat reply tawaran yang diberikan kepada kamu is not what you ask most of the time. Okay, kamu mungkin tanya untuk bidang lain, kamu dapat bidang yang lain. So some student they accept the offer dia pergi dan some student dia cuba apply untuk university university lain tempat-tempat lain untuk dapatkan kursus yang mereka nak but when you apply to different different university college kamu akan dapat reply reply yang lain mereka suruh kamu masuk dalam bidang yang lain and all that so what's going to happen it's going to take few months 2 3 months again all right so after, during the 2 3 months is very very important now is a very important time during the 2 3 months you know what going to happen or not Pelajar yang kerja, you gonna continue working. Pelajar yang tak kerja dekat rumah, slowly the society, the society, the country, orang yang kita uh, ada jiran kita, you know, the people who work with your mom, your father in the office, they gonna start asking question to them. Eh, anak kamu sekarang tengah buat apa? Anak saya sudah pergi untuk universiti ni lah. Eh, your son is doing what? My son is doing this course in this university, and that pressure for your parents. For your parents, that pressure is for your parents. Your parents going to take all the pressure and they going to come back to you because you are the cause of the pressure. They going to come to you and they going to ask you, um, what happened to the application? Apa yang dah jadi kamu apply tu dapat ke tak? Bila result dia akan keluar? They start to worry. You know why they start to worry? It's not their fault. People make them worry. Why? Oh, if your son don't take decision now, don't go study now, he's not gonna study forever. He's gonna be a failure. You know, this kind of pressure towards your parents akan datang pada kamu. They gonna come to you and they gonna ask you what happened to the application yang kamu sudah buat. Kamu dapat tak benda ni? Kamu dapat tak benda tu? Kamu dapat tak benda ni? The more the parents ask you these questions, kamu tahu tak kamu akan rasa apa? Psychologically, you will be affected. You will think like, oh, saya ni dekat rumah, I'm a waste. I'm just working. I need to study. My friends are going to study already. Saya punya kawan-kawan belajar ni, belajar tu, belajar ni, belajar tu. Saya kena pergi. Mak saya, ayah saya setiap kali mereka tanya saya. Dan itu pun tak apa. Orang yang tengok dekat tepi jalan pun dia akan tanya awak. Eh, dah habis SPM kan? Ah, you belajar dekat apa sekarang? Ah, ni all these questions. The society will pressure you. Bila mereka pressure awak, what's going to happen? You going to end up choosing one kursus yang ditawarkan kepada awak. See, you going to end up. It's like, Okay, aku tak nak lagi lah duduk dekat rumah lagi. Aku tak nak lagi lah. Aku nak just pergi masuk mana-mana kursus yang dia apply. So just you will be dis- disappointed. You know, there's no motivation. You gonna apply for a course that you don't like, and that is the worst decision in your life. Once you dah masuk untuk kursus tu 3 tahun atau 4 tahun You habiskan kursus tu dah dapat loan, dah dapat tu ni semua You belajar, you habiskan you punya ijazah sarjana muda You don't even know why you are studying there Because you just go there because that's what people offer you It's not something that you like So you pergi dekat sana, you gonna you gonna study whatever they teach you Or you, most of the time you're not gonna be in your class You lepak dengan kawan-kawan, you tak nak belajar apa-apa And then graduation akan datang Once graduation sudah dapat, the next pressure the society gonna give you is Kerja Do you have a work now? You know your family is like that, you, that All these kind of stories gonna come And you're gonna apply for a work, alright? So when you apply for a work, you're gonna end up in a work See, you studied a course that you don't like You end up in a work that you don't like And next 20 years from now After this, another 20 years pass by You're going to tell the next generation University is a waste School is a waste I don't like my job This is the life you're going to live If you made the wrong decision now after SPM So what you should do to prevent all this To prevent all this, to live a life that you wanted, you want to be happy, right? You want to be happy, right? Everybody wants to be happy. So what you should do right after SPM now to get to a happy life, all right? So I'm going to give you four important points what you need to do right after your SPM for you to live a very, very happy and good life as you wanted. Let's see what are the four things you need to do. So the first thing I suggest you to do right after your SPM is... Take your own dream time. Okay, what I mean by that? Apa maksud you? Ambil, ambil masa kamu sendiri. Your own dream time. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this very carefully. See, bila kamu belajar dekat sekolah, you dengan kawan-kawan awak semua, you all might have some plans. It's like, hey bro, lepas SPM, kita kena buat ni lah bro. We must go for a movie. Movie marathon. Pagi, dari pagi pukul 10, sampai malam pukul 10. We watch every movie in the theater. It's something that you want to do. Alright, something that you want to do. Number two, maybe, maybe, 
me it could be like hey bro kita kena pergi main futsal dekat court ni lah bro dengan team ni we must play alright we must go for football game i want to go gym i want to go swimming class i want to go uh, something you want to do something you want to go uh, watch movie go gym with your friend you want to go jamming you know those who like music you nak pergi bro kita kena pergi jamming bro lepas spm kita pergi kita kita rent studio tu maybe untuk 1 jam 2 jam we go there we play the music instruments drum guitar everything you have your plans bila kamu dalam SPM you sure have all these things right you are the plan you are the plan eh, lepas SPM I nak buat ni lepas SPM saya nak buat ni lepas SPM saya nak buat ni take 5 days take 5 days after your SPM or maximum 1 week after SPM don't go more than that 5 days or 1 week put down what are the things you want to do letak apa yang semua yang kamu nak buat dalam satu kertas alright dalam satu kertas make sure it's all healthy things that you want to do okay letak dalam satu kertas and get it done get it done it's time for yourself you studied from 1 from 2 from 3 from 4 from 5 the pressure kerja khusus sukan itu ini everything you may not be doing things that you like you know there are things you want to do do go with your friends bagi tahu pada ibu bapa kamu put it in a list show them hey, your parents is going to be the best friends you show them kalau parent kamu tengok video ni if they don't see share this video to them they should know you guys parents should understand your kids You know, everybody like a 50 year old man. They not pergi lepak dengan kawan-kawan dia main futsal once in a week. Why is that? Because that's what they want to do. Of course, your child will have the same feel. Let your child. Bia, bia, anak-anak kamu. They got a plan, but give them a time frame. Five days. Be disciplined. Five days. Settle all these things you want to do. Tell your parents. Maybe some of the things you need money. Okay, you might not. You know, uh, have enough money for that. Maybe later you can plan. Five days set up. What semua yang kamu nak, you like dengan kawan-kawan kamu. Tell your parents about apa yang kamu nak buat. This is the this is the plan kita nak buat lepas SPM and all that. So let them also know what you're doing. Let them support you and go do the things you want. Okay. And why am I asking you to do that in the first step? Why five days right after? Don't don't wait for so long. Right after SPM, do it. Get it done. Why is that? Bila kamu buat benda-benda ni, it's like a dream come true. You feel like you achieve something. You feel the satisfaction. Hey, I did something. I wanted to do this. Finally, I achieve it. I want to do this. I achieve it. Some people like I want to go for go kart racing. Right after SPM, find a place, get some, get some cash from your parents if they can give you, or try to work out something and get some money. Go for that. Achieve it. You will feel like champion. You are kind of some champ. Yes, I have achieved apa yang saya nak selama ni. So with that confidence, with that confidence, we can move on to the second step. All right. The first step, I already tell you, you spend time with your friends, do whatever you want for five days, and then the second step. This is the most, most, most important step. This is very, very important. I want you to spend time for yourself only. Maksud saya untuk diri kamu sahaja, not for your friends, not for your parents, not for the society, for yourself. Spend time. Spend time untuk diri kamu. So, what am I going to do in this time? Get to know yourself better. Ramai pelajar, ramai orang hari ini they don't even know themselves. They don't even know what they like. They don't even know what they want to do. Get to know yourself. Sit down in the house peacefully. Think about who are you? What you want actually? What what are the things that you like to do? Write down. Write down what are the things that you like to do. It's not about what you're going to achieve like that. You know, just get to know about yourself. What food you like, what drink you like. You like to be in a cold temperature or hot temperature. Macam mana apa yang kamu suka tengok. And most of the time, kamu akan cakap dengan diri kamu. You know, when you go to a buffet, ada restaurant, makanan banyak. Kamu nak ambil makan lah kan. Kamu akan rasa macam, eh aku nak makan ni ke aku nak makan ni. Kamu tengah cakap dengan siapa pada masa tu. You're not talking to your friend, you're talking to yourself. Understand the self first. Apa yang kamu suka buat. And then, try to think about the school time. Bila kamu dekat sekolah, apa yang kamu buat dekat sekolah? What are the things, what are the moments that make you very happy? Subjek apa? Maybe satu subjek tu kamu suka. And try to ask why. Sebab apa saya suka subjek ni? Saya pergi sekolah, cikgu saya ajar sejarah, saya suka belajar sejarah. Sebab apa saya suka sejarah? Try to answer all these questions. Talk to yourself. Be selfish. Be selfish for that one week. Don't spend time talking to your friends and all this thing just for yourself. Think about you. All right? Think about you dekat sekolah. Now what are things that you like? 
and then after you think about yourself what you like in school what you did who you are and what are the things that you like to do to become happy and all that and then try to gain knowledge all this in this one we gain knowledge knowledge box you put out how the world gonna be in the next 10 years 20 years go go find out go google or go search whatever talk to people your parents maybe your uncle somebody ask them this question how is the go- world going to be in the next 10 years macam mana dunia ni akan jadi dia dia ada tak dalam next uh, 10 years apa yang akan berlaku future innovations you know future technology apa yang akan berlaku pada dunia ni dalam masa 10 20 tahun yang akan datang and you get a picture how the world going to be you akan tahu this is how it is going to be you know the technology going to be like this you know they're going to be a flying car so they're going to be like a automated cars you know these kind of things so why am i asking you to do all these things why you want to do why you want to know about the future and all that see this is the time you need to fix your future see there is a lot of job opportunities there are a lot of careers now a lot of services now masa-masa sekarang ni yang ada kerja-kerja yang ada sekarang ni eh kerja-kerja ni tak exist 10 years ago tau Now ada social media manager position social media manager 10 tahun lepas social media baru start tak ada kerja-kerja untuk social media but now there's a lot of opportunities those days maybe don't have courses yang tawarkan how to become a social media manager how to do advertisement in social media semua benda ni last time they don't have but now they have So, apa yang kamu kena buat? You must know the the the, the future of the world. All right? So, apa yang akan berlaku in in how many years time? Apa yang akan berlaku? What are things gain knowledge, watch documentary, you know? Go search a lot of things, talk to a lot of people. This is the phase number 2. You need to gain information, all right? Gain information, dapatkan information yang kamu nak. Itu adalah second step yang kamu kena buat. So, once you already do that for one week. See, this one week time if possible, Stop all your phones, your notification, lepak dengan kawan tu ni semua, just stop, just spend for yourself, just spend for yourself, gain a lot of knowledge, just for 5 days enough, or 1 week, worst case scenario, like, just spend for yourself, understand what's happening around you, how is the country, how is the country going to be in the next 10 years, future, get to know about that, that is step number 2. Now, we go to step number 3, what is step number 3? Okay. Do you have a picture of you when you are 7 years old? Ada tak gambar kamu bila kamu kecil, bila kamu 7 tahun, okay? Cuba pergi cari gambar tu, ambil gambar tu tengok. Kamu akan nampak seorang budak kan, you know? Budak yang 7 tahun, 7 years old boy, right? Or boy or girl, okay? You see that guy, that person there. Look at the picture, try to think. Cuba fikirkan apa yang budak tu fikir masa dia 7 tahun. It's actually you lah. Apa yang awak fikirkan masa 7 tahun? Oh, mesti ada kamu ada plan kan? Okay, tujuh tahun aku nak buat ni, aku nak buat ni, SPM aku nak dapat result ni, you know, I'm going to get this kind of result. But now, are you on track? Are you on track? Now, you are 10 years after the 7 years, kan? Tujuh, tujuh tahun, gambar kamu. Tapi sekarang, you dah tujuh belas tahun, sepuluh tahun selepas tu. Are you on track? Are you doing what you want to do when you are 7 years old? You know, there's no much changes, but the results, you know, the the education level, how the person you want to be, are you the person you wanted to be when you are seven years old? Think about that. If the answer is yes, then good. If the answer is no, it's okay. It's okay. Because now, what I want you to do is, in this step three, I want you to think about who you're going to be in the next ten years. Don't think about next month. Don't think about the university. Don't think about the college. Stop all that, all right? think about who you're going to be in the next 10 years because you already think about how the future going to be you already think about what you like you already know about yourself try to think in 10 years time who you want to be think about that person if you want to become that person in 10 years time then what you need to do now ah uh, plan backwards plan backwards If you want to be that person in 10 years time, okay, if 10 years time I'm going to be like this, I'm going to be a, a professional, I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to be a, a doctor, or I'm going to be a artificial intelligence, you know, something, some plans, all right? You have, you 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 made your search. You know who you're going to be in next 10 years. Plan backwards. If the next 10 years I'm going to be this person. Now, backwards, backwards, what I need to do, what I need to do, what I need to do, what I need to do. Backwards, plan backwards sampai ke result kamu sekarang, all right? So that's why you need to plan. Don't choose your career based on your results. Choose who you want to be and come backwards and think about what result you need to go to this university. It's like, okay, you want to become this person, okay? Kalau nak jadi orang seperti ini, 
apa yang kamu kena belajar. Kalau kamu nak belajar benda tu, universiti mana yang apply kursus itu. So kalau nak masuk universiti ni, apa result yang kamu kena ada? So plan backwards, alright? So dengan result, so don't ever plan, don't ever plan with what results you have. See, I let me be very honest to you. Your results may not reflect what you are good at. Eh sekarang ni SPM cubalah tengok. Terlalu banyak soalan-soalan bocor yang keluar. Saya pun tak tahu apa masalah-masalah dalam masa sekarang. They just give you questions. If you're going to, uh, kalau kamu nak pilih kamu punya future based on the result, it's not true. Maybe kamu tak suka sejarah. But just one day before kamu pergi untuk sejarah, kamu dapat satu uh, kertas yang uh, mengatakan ini adalah soalan-soalan uh, bocor untuk esok, soalan-soalan ramalan untuk esok. Dan kamu pun baca hafal benda tu, kamu pergi dalam exam, the same thing keluar. Kamu pun tulis semua. So now, your results going to reflect you are good in sejarah, right? But if you choose a career based on sejarah, you not going to be happy because you basically don't like sejarah. But you got the results because of that stupid ramalan that you get the day before. You know, that's not who you are. The entire idea of exam has changed now. People selling ramalan, alright? So let's not talk about that. Let's look at this. So if you get your results, the results may not be accurate on who you are, what are the things that you like. That's why I ask you to plan backwards. Plan backwards. Who you want to be. From there, come to your results, alright? So, dengan result ni, see, there's two things can be happen, right? Bila kamu dah dapat result, You know what you want to be, you know which university to go, you tahu kursus apa yang kamu nak ambil. So bila kamu dapat result yang match kepada university tu, you're not going to waste time, you just going to apply to the university, you're going to go, you're going to proceed, you're going to become who you are. Let's see. The result yang kamu dapat tu tidak menyokong. You should have plan. You should have plan. Let's see result ni tidak menyokong untuk masuk university ni. Don't give up. You want to be that person. Think about that. You want to be this person. If you want to become this person, what you need to do? If these results don't support you, what you need to do is you need to find the alternatives. Okay, for me to get into this section, this education, this business, this field, what am I supposed to do? I know with my results, I cannot do this. I need to do something to get that. Don't give up. Don't give up. You know you want to be this person. So do whatever it takes for you to go to that particular course. Go and study that particular thing. Get your results there. Get your get your certificate and all that. Go into that field. That's how you should work. Don't work based on your results. Think about who you want to become, and your results now. See what is the best way to achieve that. All right. Plan backwards. That is plan number two. That is very very important, guys. That is step number three. And the final step is talk to your parents. Talk to your parents. Tell them what you want to do. Be open to them. Be honest to them. They raise you from year one until seventeen years old. Mereka lah yang jaga kamu. They deserve the right to know who you want to become. Don't just simply say, "Bapa saya tak tahu apa apa, mak saya tak tahu apa apa." That is bullshit. Don't do that. Don't do that. See, whatever you do, the first person going to impact by your actions is your parents. You become good, they're going to be very happy. You become bad, they are the first person who going to be very sad for you. So discuss with your parents. You want to get more knowledge? Talk to people. That's step number four. Discuss with your parents. Tell them, "Ah, oh, this is what I did. Yeah, ini lah apa yang saya telah buat. Ini lah planning saya. Aku nak buat khusus ni. Ada dalam tawaran-tawaran ni. So they know you are matured enough. They have confidence in you. So they will work together with you to get what you want. It's not going to be like they're going to listen to other people. They're not going to come back. So now they know they son, the daughter, they have a plan. Okay, anak saya nak buat benda ni. When other people ask, you know what they got to answer? No, they going to tell. Oh, tadi anak saya tunggu ni. Dia nak buat benda ni. Dia nak buat benda ni. They got a confident answer to give to the other people. The problem happens when they don't have a confident answer. They worry. They don't know the answer. They don't know the answer. They worry. See, this is the problem. All right. So you discuss with your parents, share with them what you want to do, and if you do these four steps correctly, trust me, in ten, fifteen years, you're gonna be a successful person. But let me share with you this one story, very important story. I know this one boy. This one boy, and then uh, he raised by a single mother. Okay, he raised by a single mother, and then uh, his dream is to become a pilot. His dream is to become a pilot. 
So what happened? He uh, he scored very good results in his SPM dan semua tu because he already have a dream. Okay, sejak kecil dia dah ada plan-plan tu. So dia belajar betul-betul SPM, he got a good results and then he masuk dalam uh, aeronautical engineering. Okay, dia masuk dalam aeronautical engineering and then dalam aeronautical engineering, you're not becoming a pilot, you're studying for aeronautical engineering course. Alright, so orang yang inspect, check the plane and sign before it take off and all that. That's the that's the feel. Alright, so bila dia sudah habis belajar aeronautical engineering, so now he got an option. See, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people care for him. They love him. They care for him. Mereka pergi pada budak tu dan mereka bagi tahu, eh, uh, okay, kamu kan dah habis you punya aeronautical engineering. Kalau kamu pergi kerja sekarang, you gonna make sama about like five thousand, six thousand a month, maybe, you know, you gonna make that money. So that money can help your mother. That money can help your mother. Your mom is a single mother. I respect the mother. She raised the child like, like, you know, a single mother, and and she raised it so beautifully. You know, I'm I'm so happy for her. So. Bila mereka bagi tahu, you know, you can you can pergi dapatkan kerja, dapatkan duit sikit, you can help your family, your mother, you know, all this while she struggled for you, and you know, now maybe it's a time for you to pay back and all that. But his dream is to become a pilot. Even I advise him. Even I advise him. I didn't tell him to go and work. I gave him the options. What are the things you can do? You you make your choice. I'm that kind of person. I don't push anybody to tell them you must do this. No. Just give them the options. They know what to choose. So I even gave him an advice. Maybe you go here, you can earn some money, and you can do something. And if you go there, uh, you can become a pilot. You know all these options I gave him. He stood by his decision. He talked to his mother. He told his mother, "Ma, saya nak jadi pilot. This is what I'm going to do." So he applied for this piloting course and all that. And I think the intake was like two thousand. Okay, two years. So two years selepas dia habis belajar, where he can go and work and gain money by like four or five thousand a month, but he applied for the courses for piloting courses, and I think about one year after that he got an intake. Okay, he got an offer, and he's gonna go for that piloting course. So that one year he was driving Grab. Driving Grab, they bought a crater Grab. You don't know, everybody knows Grab, Uber, last time, right? So he's driving Grab and all that, making very little money, you know, supporting himself. But one thing, good thing happened to him is he discussed with his mother. He tell his mother, "Ma, ini lah apa yang saya nak buat. I'm very happy to do this. I want to do this. Can you support me?" The mother support him, and now he's doing his uh, pilot course, okay, in Langkawi. He's doing his pilot course in Langkawi, and each semester, you know what he score or not? You know what is his pointer or not? It's 3.8, 3.9 above. Saya tak pernah dengar dia dapat result 2 point something. He never touched that result. And macam mana dia boleh jadi sangat successful dalam bidang tu di tengah belajar benda tu? Why? Because he made the right decision. He love what he wants to do. He know what he wants to do. He planned his life. I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him. So that is how you guys have to be too. Don't just follow somebody's decision and go and do that. Stick to your plan and talk to your parents. Work together with your parents and success on your way. Thank you so much for listening. Share this with a lot of students, SPM students, yang dah habis. Share dengan mereka. Let them get the knowledge. Let them know what they need to do. Let them get the clear answer. And if you have any question, if you have any any question, apa apa soalan tentang video ini, you don't know what to do. You want to ask me? Still in the comment section below. You boleh comment. Cikgu akan reply comment comment kamu. And if there is some things that you don't agree, it's okay. Just stay in the comment section. This is my opinion. This is my guideline for your success. Alright. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.